What's going on guys, Dane here and welcome back to, well this time around we're doing something a little bit different. We are taking a look at the brand new player made maps. So I'm going to give my opinion on them, man. We have uh, five of them to go through. They are not all black and white, uh, both in uh, layout and aesthetic as this one is right here. These are five maps that were chosen by the devs from the community out of a ton, a grip, a bundle of what's the word i'm looking for man applications that ain't even the right look man look 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 a lot of a lot of cakes in the oven and only five are getting made you know what i'm saying so i want to take a look at them before they arrive this was done july 28th bro they've been sitting on these cakes they ain't even cakes anymore they're bricks bro the world's first pizza crust you know what i'm saying the the world's first mortar a, a, adobo a, adobo or adobe no adobe adobo is a season look man it doesn't matter I'm gonna give my thoughts on these maps. That's what's happening right now, man. Alpha Zero dropped the first one. Now I did glance at the other four uh, just because I had to open the tabs, but don't worry about it, man. All I can tell you is there's one that is, someone's trying to impress somebody coming right up. But uh, hey, man, theme pirate room on this one. So it's gonna be a pirate themed map. Pretty cool, man. Small map as well, uh, pretty clearly. And the only way is down is the map name alpha zero now let's take a look at this we got keyholes in the top corners of the maps and they are within uh you know two hmm, squares of the heart that's a little scary man that's actually kind of terrifying it's gonna be really hard to do a heart rush if it wasn't for the fact that you could just lob over this wall in fact the uh the the panic point right there it's it's within three range of both hearts the center panic point is uh, chuckable. It's jarrable even. Um, it's wall breakable and inoculusable. It's three rangeable, man. You're gonna see a lot of wall breaks. You're probably gonna see a lot of blitzes out in the center. I'm assuming it's gonna be a couple of times you're gonna see like a wall break or like a lob game to try and kill the heart, but it's risky, man, because the keyhole is right there. You're gonna get blitzed on doing it. To be honest, you're gonna see a lot of key victories here. You're gonna see a lot of rapid fire, like in this little ballroom right here, this little hex, is that a hexagon? Um, like it's been a long time since I took or cared about geometry. Look, there's six. What, look man, don't don't make me say what these shapes are, right? Look, I ain't here trying to play, put a block in the slot. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I like that the bottom blocks are within two range. So you can get a one key over to these bottom panic points pretty easily. You can send a two up here, up top, but the two keys are gonna meet and whoever goes second is gonna have a three key available possibly depending how things are divvied out or two two keys or save a key one two and save a key second turn advantage but that's usually pretty normal man i like going second most of the time anyways um yeah when they meet in the middle i mean you're gonna look at a lot of people using a robot over anything else over cassowary even cassowary ain't gonna be as safe as you want him to be uh it's probably gonna be a uh, cassowaries and robots on the tops, man. Baby Snakey's gonna live it up. You're gonna see a lot of key victories on this one. A lot of brawls. A lot of people trying to take advantage of how close those hearts are. And a lot of people being punished for it. Um, I like it. I like it. It's gonna be an all out. It's gonna be like the line of scrimmage breaks. And it's just a blitz. And the, both lines crash into each other in a cascade. Now we have Cha, bro. We have Cha, bro. There's no capital. I kind of like this name. It gives me surfer vibes, bro. But he's this is what I was talking about. This dude is definitely trying to impress somebody. I ain't gonna hold you. He's trying to impress somebody. Uh, he might be a community member. He might if he's art team on the dev team. That's not fair. But hey, man, what are you gonna say about it? You know what I'm saying? This is map name of Vortex. It is a undersea theme and it is a large map now. Let's take a look at what we got going on with these surfer vibes from Cha, bro. We got Coral. We got a All right, so I'm already noticing one thing. So the heart and the stem pattern next to each other. We've seen this before on small maps usually, but sometimes otherwise, not in a little while. Tell me why within three range is two different pressure points. Look at this. You got a stem pad next to the blue heart and the middle pressure point. And the 
pressure point next to the yellow keyhole next to that lava up there you have two controls man that does mean if you first turn put a one key on your pressure point on the side you're like heading towards from the bottom left corner to the actual heart you're going to be seeing a lot of people jar your one key to death you'll have to use a two key you might even want to use a wall breaker because this coral blocks this path to the heel and to the center safe route pretty heavily man you might want to throw a three key wall breaker over there break it open maybe one key one key it out maybe two key it out it's gonna be interesting there's a lot of permutations for this one right here a lot of ways the first turn is gonna play out you could take the panic point early you could get a wall breaker out early which are you gonna do you can't really get away with doing both you need at least one other one key out on the board Man, this is kind of wild. So, it's centerpiece. Let's talk centerpiece, right? Uh, both stim pads reach it with three keys. So, Inoculus with a wall breaker is filthy. Um, man, the uh, Chuck is kind of filthy on this one as well. You're seeing no push units being used here. You're going to be seeing pull units, however. You're going to be seeing a lot of a tractor. You're probably going to be seeing some uh, spiders. Although, you know, spider, it's a dime a dozen. It's funny when it works, though. I like it, man. Not a lot of people are just going to let it work, though. You're going to see a lot of stasis. I think Boomer as a first key to get to the centerpiece is a good play. He can get one panic point and make his way instantly to the middle panic point. He has stasis. He's not going to get pulled. You're safe. He has a lot of HP. A lot of ways to play this one out. I like that the stim pad is also a double whammy. If you can, because you have an instant hallway over there, if you can rush to that stim pad, you can do extra damage to it. You can get a lot of that eight key brawler man dozer is that his name you can get a lot of damage off on this heart not very likely the key is within two range they're just gonna get a range unit and kill you there's a lot of there's a lot of variations here flying units range units you're not gonna be seeing a lot of walls maybe you will man but i don't know this is you're gonna be seeing a lot more deconstruction than construction here a lot of pull units a lot of hp because of all these stim pads a lot of ranged warfare i'm digging it my man uh om um, pong yeah you guys, you guys know anything? Hold on. You guys know me at this point, right? You guys, you guys have an inkling of a suspicion what I see right here. I see Om Pong has made a MOBA map. Hold on. Hold on. Theme, two different ways to go to war at capture point on center. Green obstacle, pink, heal point, and red power pad. Take a look at the Pokemon Unite map on your screen right now. You have a heart a heal and a key right next to each other which is your home base my man you can go back to the fountain to heal you can uh you can defend your end boss you 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 can use the shop aka the summons this is kind of a mobile map hold on there are also uh what are these things called again uh stim pads there's stim pads i call them power pads it doesn't even matter man uh, stim pads chilling on the top and bottom right here. I like that it's on the side. So check me out. If you are on red team over here, right? Say you're red team. You're moving down. You're moving over. You get on the stim pad. You're going to use a range unit with a wall in front of it. Like a, like a carry in a tank to shove the range. You actually have on the panic point, the pressure point right there, right? You're going to, you you can reach two pressure points and one of them is in the hallway towards the enemy base however their keys are going to be coming that way it's not the best route to go but you need it if you want full pressure so you're gonna have to defend down there or you're gonna have to ignore it and shove top which does have a panic point of its own and three range is going to be beautiful there you might have to double wall it but people can break these walls right here anyways these green whatever the shape is man it's a it's a pentathlon bro it's a pentathlon um, you're gonna see people running back to heal, although it's a, it's not that long of a way. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see healing, though. Um, flying units are gonna be... A bat is gonna be toxic here. He can stand on the stim pad, ult, and fly... I said ult. He can use a skill and fly back to the heal. Instantly, you're gonna see a lot of bats on this map. Um, you're gonna see a lot of two range for the stim pads, and you're not gonna see a whole lot else. You might even just see melee units on these stim pads, but I wouldn't expect it. But you can get away with melee considering they hold down a lot of area. Um, some lob units to take out the detritus that takes the centerpiece. You can spawn a potato and hit the center instantly. You can spawn... Uh, yeah, oh, hold on. I think stronghold would be strong here, man. You, maybe you see some walls, some traps, definitely. 
you're gonna see mobile gameplay going on and people trying to keep their keys alive and i like this one man i think this is gonna be my favorite map real talk i like this one a lot i like that three range to the heart i like the two range to the extra pressure point i like where everything is located this one has a lot of thought and care put into making it tight and concise and this one i think this is gonna be my favorite uh this is probably gonna be my favorite big map in the entire game right here but as far as favorite maps in general god this one's really cool this one's real cool they picked some good ones man this is just a personal favorite personal favorite right here because it's gonna remind me i'm gonna play it like a moba and be toxic man we're gonna role play too now we got a do a do how about you we got cave escapade small map dark caves no big deal uh four panic points all are contestable i also put a lava pile in the middle look it is what it is so there's pressure points there is a single hallway to get in you're gonna see a lot of wall breaks i like that the keys are on the opposite side of the map so you're not gonna see the counter wall break if you did it first you're not gonna get direct countered on this map beautiful thank god they're on the other side that is the one issue that a lot of maps have is that if you do the three key break on a, on a wall you're gonna get countered they're gonna do the exact same thing it ain't even gonna matter so i like that a lot man i like the center lava piece you might see a lot of traps and walls on this map you might see a lot of honey bears for contesting you might ah man i think honey bears gonna kill it on this map because you already know there's gonna be de uh, deconstruction happening you already know there's gonna be construction happening um this is almost another moba map there's no heal pad though it's not gonna play the same it's all center jungle if you we were gonna go with that um if you have a wall breaker take their far center point say oh god if you break their wall down say you're orange again right say you're red again whatever you want to call it say you move one square break the wall okay you have a one key that can make it or you have a three key that can take theirs right next to their heart doesn't matter um you can still get your deconstructor over there immediately and kind of camp out right right next to their blue heart on that on that pressure point on that panic point they can break it at some point and you have a three range shot but it's gonna be a lot of setup man look I i'm speculating right but there is a lot of danger man these maps are looking to fight bro these maps are looking for combat this one's gonna be a lot more stalemate than a lot of them a lot of positioning game is going on this one's gonna be a lot i mean they're all positioning but this one's gonna be a lot of trench warfare you're gonna see a lot of walls a lot of lobs I think lobs are gonna be you're gonna be happy if you have potato right now um not a lot of range not a lot of straight shot range you can get away with one keys here actually you can get in these hallways and you can move up once these walls are deconstructed you can get up here with a lot of one keys you're gonna see a lot of the high hp one keys being used you might see unbearable dominate this map 100 percent we'll see man i'm excited you might even see cerberus make a comeback on this man nah yeah you never know man Let's check this out. I like this map a lot. Though. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a blitz trench war. You can't really camp in the centerpiece, so you can't really command all four of these spots with a range unit. You can't just potato down. You can't just, uh, you know, uh, bow mangles down. You can't attack the top and bottom panic points by standing straight there. That's gorgeous. You, yeah, there's not a really good answer for it either. You would have to actually break the center rock and get a three range unit there and protect him with your life man i mean there's not a great way to that's the only way is you could break that one rock right under the text right here and you could you know you could do that you could you could break that and get a three range on there you'd have to defend him with your life and then you could defend these panic points easily but they might rush you man man there's some cool answers here. you're gonna see a lot of erratics on this map too bro this is erratics map right here yikes okay a lot of aoe's now that i think about it bro that six key thing that like throws eggs or whatever yeah and now we have wait a wait a hot second wait a hot second something's something's amiss um excuse me wait 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 my man this is actually not it was a forest map bro on oh, god it was look at all these cool maps people have made bro look at all these cool maps i'll know it when i see it what the heck happened and we're back l focus has come up with the force of nightmares name l focus oh that's his name what the heck <laughs> large map um maybe he just wants it to be named after himself l focus would like it to be named a theme fear to what hides in the woods i think i think i think he got some of this stuff mistaken but it's okay what the heck do we have here oh what thank god it wasn't what the heck i mean i don't want to be rude but like 
Thank God it's not this. <laughs> or this. Jeez. <laughs> what the heck is going on here, bro? The old souls, bro. You are tripping. Anyways, uh, so we got the Lost Woods over here, right? Um, you got... It's a large map. Yikes. These center panic points, the, like, two in the middle. You can actually defend five points at once with that one controlled and with the other one controlled, of course, respectively. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. You're gonna see a Cerberus on one. <laughs> I love Cerberus, man. I wanted to make a comeback, bro. People don't use them enough. You're gonna see a Cerberus on the, the bottom and you're gonna see a range unit on the top and a bunch of shielding in front of it. Uh, would you like the Cerberus to be your shield? Yeah, but shut up, man. You don't gotta worry about it. You got heals in the far corners because it's toxic. It's very symmetrical, I'll say that. It is incredibly symmetrical. The hearts are even symmetrical. Maybe that's by design. Um, <clears throat> what do I think about this? Um, I think it's gonna be range warfare. I think it's gonna be two range warfare. Uh, you're gonna be having a hard time with slow units in this map. It's very open. Don't let the lava fool you. Uh, you, you're gonna have a harder time with the one keys and less their range, which means bone mangles. He's still fine. Stabby, of course, he's still OP. Uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot of range warfare here. Not as many walls as you would expect, because, like, it doesn't matter here. You're, you're not going to see that many traps either, man. There's too much to, to stand on. You're going to see a lot of range warfare and a lot... I mean, God, a lot of range warfare, man. And a lot of meat shields in front of the range warfare. And a lot of counter picks. A lot of counter picks. Over and over counter picks. You're going to be meeting right in the middle. You're going to be right in the fight, man. Maggie actually gets to that centerpiece immediately. Like, it's that close. You're four squares from being four squares away from their key when you move straight out like you are you are eight square look this is a close quarters large map with a wide range of where the battle is gonna be with a hole in the center which does mean you can't camp on these center pieces or you're gonna get pulled not pushed because there is lava yikes man i didn't even notice there's not a okay yeah yeah but that doesn't uh, stop anyone from standing on these pressure points over here. You know what I'm saying? Like these, oh God, man, this is going to be range warfare, nutty, nutty time. I'm cool with this one. I like this one a lot. I expect to see a lot of, obviously, pressure point kills here. You're, you're going to see a lot of people die of heart fatigue here. A lot of just failure over time. It's going to decay on a man. It's going to be beautiful when it does. I like this map a lot. This one's cool. This one's cool. Uh, this one gets the full stamp of approval. I don't know, man. Uh, as far as my favorite one, sincerely, completely biased here, this one right here. Absolutely, man. This this one, I'm excited to try this one. I'm excited. This is my number one, man. I wish you could see what, where they placed, bro. Uh, this is my number one right here, without a doubt. What the heck is going on here? What's your guys' favorite? Oh, is this your guys' favorite? What the heck is happening, bro? Heart. Obstacles. Panic points. Spa. Is it, I thought obstacles was spelled with an A, like obstacles. Is it? Is it an I? He's probably. I mean, I I swear he's probably right. But and then what the heck is that? I can't even read that yellow, bro. Why would you use yellow on white, man? Didn't you ever go to school? Like the they you this happens, bro. This is vault. What's a vault? I think it's a vault, bro. What the heck is happening here? Bro, I gotta get the heck out of here. I'll go see you guys in the next one. Peace out.